Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to create the fixed, floating social media icon hover effect using HTML and CSS. Have a look at the end demo. See even we scroll the page, social icons are fixed at one place. Whenever we hover over the social icons, the width would increase. Let's get started by writing the HTML structure. First, consider a development with wrapper class and within that consider five developments with common class share. Here I'm going to use the font awesome icons. Font awesome is an open source site for free icons. For using the font awesome icons, first, we need to include the CDN link in the head section of the HTML document. First, open font awesome website that navigates to icons. Then search for icons whichever you want. For the time saving purpose, I had opened the icons whichever I want, before starting this video. Just see how I'm going to include the icons into HTML structure. I'll drop the CDN link and font awesome site URL below this video, check it out. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser, see the icons without CSS stylings. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. Set the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero. Set the default font family of the page to Arial. Now style wrapper development by setting its position value to fixed and top value to 50%. Use the translate method to place the icons correctly on the left side of the page. Style the shared development by giving its width and height values to 58 pixels and set the temporary background color to red. Use position, relative property to place its child elements accordingly, here icons are the child elements. And use the transition property for a smooth transition between the elements. For placing any HTML element in the center, one of the easiest ways is to make the element's position value absolute and its parent value to a relative. Now set the top and left properties values to 50%. But we can see that element is not exactly placed in the center. Now use translate method of the transform property to place the element exactly in the middle by setting translate x and translate e values to negative minus 50%. Change the icon's color to white and increase the font size of the icons. Now let's go back to HTML structure, use the unique class for each shared developments. The reason behind this is, for setting the unique background to each shared development. Now by targeting both share and unique class change the background of the shared developments to the social media icon colors. By searching on Google, find out the sites, where you can find the social media colors and place the colors accordingly. This colors will overwrite the existing red background color. Change the background color of the shared development, one by one.
If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'll drop the link for social media colors below this video. This colors will overwrite the existing red background color. Change the background color of the shared development, one by one. Now whenever we hover over the share development, its width increase from 58 pixels to 70 pixels. Now we can remove red background color, as the social media colors have overwritten the red background color. Let's get back to HTML structure to put some content on the page. Consider a container development and within that consider an H2 element with video title. Now consider a dummy lorem content within the section development. Copy and paste the section developments few times, until we get the scroll bar on the site. Now style the container development, by setting its max width to 700 pixels. To put the content in the center, set the margin left and margin right values to auto. Margin top and margin bottom values to 50 pixels. Give the 20 pixels margin bottom to the H2 element and place it in the center. Finally, style the content inside the section developments by increasing the gap and setting the line height property. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.